What up, y'all? Better than cousin. Look at my GP. Got a little golf leak. Got the air tires up. The brake thing is pretty good. Driving with the e-brake. Overdrive car, like I said, 1987. Keep walking out here because they're going to drive back. It's 87. And it does not have the 307 in it, it has the 305. 5.0. Sun faded, but not bad. Look at that. Roll. Train shit's fine. But it's a keeper. Car is immaculate. Missing the Grand Prix sign on the trunk lid, which we thought maybe we'd find it in the car. We searched everywhere in the car and we couldn't find it. So anybody's got a 87 Grand Prix. Grand Prix emblem for the trunk. Let me know. Sucks. See if they're coming back down the street here. I'm trying to block the wind. Take it to my people at DM, you know. Henry and Brian should be able to take care of me. I'll give you some nice fully series flows or something. Three inch flow. Do some pipes off the manifolds to the back. And then do a two and a half inch tail up over the rear end. Go on the back sides on an angle. And then angle cut them. So See the passenger side. Huh? Go the other way so I can get the passenger side. It's faded. Hopefully, we can get most of that to come back. If we get most of it to come back. I'll be fine. I got a 
full video of the Grand Prix. Rolling. But yeah, it's got a hole in the brake line. Right on the... Uh, right off the back of the horse. And the line, so I'll take care of that. Get it to where we can actually drive it with brakes. Instead of using the e-brake. Now you can see my boy Jason's short bed Chevy 1500. It's got that billet GMC logo in the grill. Got the billets on the front. He had the had the wheels recut to give a different offset so they would fit directly on there. We have the new rotors on there that we uh, changed from five inch to four and three quarter the wheels are four and three quarter and four and a half he got an excellent deal on the hood that's a story for another day um that's his grill setup he painted it uh, it's nice real nice so of course if anybody's seen the pictures we have the that's a 22 on the front that's a 22 on the front right yeah. the back is a 24 with an eight inch lip get this on the lift after the navigator so we can get the bag done on this clean ass fucking truck got the, the newer spoiler set up on there he did himself custom still gonna take care of cleaning up the tailgate and all that have it resprayed or wrapped or whatever but it's coming along it's coming along great the front we put the drop spindles and drop springs and all that in it. But there was a plastic cup setup, like a hard ass plastic cup setup. And we're gonna take that out, which should bring the front end down more like we want it. Of course, the back is over there. Jason's over there beating up a kid. <laughs> Make him say uncle. Say uncle. Say it. Say it on film. <laughs> oh, he's got a knife. <laughs> Oh, oh man, you said, oh, yeah. you said it too fast, bro. I'd at least taken a little cut. No, I got my freaking eyes pulled. <laughs> but yes, look at that thing. Jason Brown and his toys, man. He's got, always had nice stuff. Always gonna have nice stuff. Oh, man, guys. But yes, we'll have this thing hopefully. Soon we'll have the wheels on the back. I'm thirsty to do it. And I still got everything else working on. But yeah. And then, of course, my trailblazer. I got to get the two-inch body lift on there so that way I can put the, the 26, 37 on there. Some people are telling me they don't like it. Other people say they do like it. But I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to ride it. I'm going to take the front strut out because I bought the struts a couple years ago and they're shitty. Like, the front of my truck is floating. My front right tire is showing some wear that I don't like. So it's only a two-wheel drive truck. A lot of people are like, mm -hmm -hmm, what'd you do? Well, it's two-wheel drive, so there's no drive axle going through the oil pan. But what I'm gonna do to the front is I'm gonna get rid of the strut. And I'm actually gonna do a Viking coilover for the rear of a vehicle. I'm gonna do in the front. And then I can set my height wherever I want. So I'll get it to ride, obviously way better. Right now, I got knuckles in the front <laughs> and a couple knuckles done went bye-bye. So that's why the front's down a little bit. But, nice truck. It's got the back door, got a dent in it, whatever. I get that fixed. Everyday work truck. It makes the money. Gets me here, gets me there. So, hopefully, you load my axles in there and take them with. That's what we were just talking about with this badass little Chevy truck right here. Alright, they're getting ready to take off. Just waiting to hit 10 minutes on this video. Put brand new tires on the back over and over and he keeps blowing them off nice running truck uh, came from new york believe it or not he always finds 
Excellent. 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 Excellent.